Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Now between episodes, I have been a busy bee because of a goal that we're going to be going for in today's episode. Today, my friends, episode 26, we are going to attempt to tame ourselves a Quetzal. Now the plan for this episode goes as follows, because honestly, this is going to be a process, all right? First of all, we're going to go ahead and tame ourselves another Tyranodon, ideally a max level one, and pump the ever-living poop out of the speed. And by doing that, it means that we'll be able to more easily keep up with the Quetzal when it goes ahead and gets all sort of, you know, panicky and flies away when you're going ahead and pelting it with shocking tranquilizer darts. And when it does come to going ahead and taming a Quetzal, we're actually going to go for a low level one first, because at that point, once you get a low level one with a platform saddle on its back, you can simply use that Quetzal to tame a higher level Quetzal because of the fact that you'll be able to stand on top of the platform while flying and be able to shoot whatever other Quetzal you are trying to get. So yeah, we're going to try to get ourselves a low level Quetzal today and hopefully all should be well. If we manage to do this, it will be the first ever time I have ever tamed a Quetzal on the island. And the reason why that's so big is because we don't have the net projectile. We are only on the island, the first map of Ark Survival Evolved. We don't have the net projectile, which is of course what people would typically use today in the more modern maps to be able to tame a Quetzal. I just saw an Alpha Raptor fly down. So yeah, maybe the first thing we do is go ahead and take that alpha raptor out i am not having any alpha raptors circling my base area thank you very very much indeedy uh let's go ahead over here and try to see what kind of level we're working with here all right uh oh geez uh oh level 15 okay well that's no level all right you're just gonna die go on Come on! Ho oh, ho! I wonder if there is even the slightest possibility I might be able to kill this Alpha Raptor myself. It is visibly damaged, and when it gets to the point of being extremely visibly damaged, I kind of want to finish it off with a sword and put your guys' theory to the test. In that uh, we will get way more XP towards our chibi if we manage to take this guy out with a sword. You know, our person as opposed to a tame. Alrighty, I can't believe we're doing this. That actually worked! I actually managed to perfectly gauge how little health this guy had left. Alright, the moment of truth. This wasn't a very high level Alpha Raptor. I'm not expecting a giant amount of progress towards our next chibi level up, but I'm expecting something, all right? So, let's bring up our inventory. Uh, really? I won't be funny, but that actually seems like barely any XP at all. I'm not entirely sure you guys are right. I feel like I would have had way more than that, dude. Hmm, I don't know. To be honest, though, I can't remember how much uh, alpha XP there was on this GB before I took that guy out. So I've got really nothing to sort of gauge it by, you know? But I feel like I should have had more XP than that. So just a few little odd jobs to do before we actually set off on our journey to get ourselves a high level Tyranodon. We need a bowler to immobilize it, of course. We do have ourselves our long neck rifle with the shocking tranquilizer darts. Talking of which, I've actually made a whole bunch more tranquilizer darts since the last episode. It should be enough to make it up to just over 200 in total. Uh, yeah, 208, would you believe? Oh my goodness me, that's a lot of shocking tranquilizer darts. There is no way we can't tame a Quetzal today with that volume of shocking tranquilizer darts. Surely. <laughs> the next thing to be done is the comments of the day. Eddie says, Hey Python, I'd like to say don't leave the artifact in your otter. If you die, it will most likely die. Or if you die in lava, you will most likely lose them. Thank you so much for going ahead and turning my attention to that because, yeah, I have gone ahead and done that. So, yep, yeah, you can see there's no longer any artifacts in there, and that's because they are now in a chest. Now, here's the thing. I genuinely did not know that the artifact restriction didn't apply to storage boxes. So, you can, in fact, 
store multiple of the same type of artifact in a chest and you've got no issues. It's just on your person and on most dino's inventories, obviously, aside from the otter. So, yeah, thank you so much for turning my attention to that. I really do appreciate it. You may notice, of course, I've already got the Tyranidon saddle and the Quet platform saddle both made already. That is absolutely fantastic, of course. But uh, here's the annoying thing. Check this out. We have an Ascendant regular Quetz saddle, you know, without the platform on. If only we had the Ascendant Quetz platform saddle, that would have been absolutely glorious, wouldn't it? Anyways, guys, we've got Adam. We're going to go ahead and use him to try to find ourselves a very high-level Tyranodon. And then, upon taming the Tyranodon, we're simply going to go looking for Explorer Notes, level him up a whole bunch, and be able to pump the ever-living poop out of his speed stat. So, yeah. Where are we going to find Tyranodons? Well, to be honest, mostly around the beaches of the island. So, yeah. I think it will only be a matter of time. What level is this guy? Uh, if I could, like, locate him, that is. Oh, there you are. 35. That's a bit pooey. No, no, no. Yo! There's a level 150 right there, guys. A female Tyranodon max level. <laughs> if we can get it to land, I can immobilize. Oh, you son of a gun. Is she trying to debate me or something? Oh, no, 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 here we go, here we go. Right, let's go ahead and yeet that on you. And then do a little bit of that. Uh, how many of these is it going to take? I don't imagine many, right? Oh, two. That's how many it took. Two shocking tranquilizer darts. Well, isn't that rather shocking? <laughs> ah, yes, a Bronto. I'm sorry, buddy, but you're about to be chopped up and fed to my new Tyranodon. Sorry, not sorry. Gotta be done. <laughs> I want to be able to take this guy super quick so we can just get straight on with our Quetzal goal, man. Come on. This guy's only level 10. It's not going to take very long. Believe me. Right. Come up. Come up. There we have it. Right. Make sure that we're able to harvest it first of all. Harvest settings. Okay. Yes, we can. All right. That means we do a little bit of that. All right, lassie. How about a bit of prime me, eh? Uh, oh, okay. It'll be a little bit before she actually consumes it. Once it gets to 4, 3, 90 or below, we should have ourselves a fully tamed Tyranodon here. Uh, coming in at around level 225. Hopefully, that should wind up being the case. Come on, lassie. That'll do it, my friends. All right, I'm going to call you Speedy. Because you're going to be speedy and yeah this is gonna be fantastic my friends all right so that used up the bowler i can now put that back on my hotbar uh but yeah aside from that all is looking well all right so what we're now going to do is we are going to cryopod adam and then we're gonna go for a little bit of an explorer note hunt oh yes it's gonna be a good time and i'm very much looking forward to it right what have you actually got Hide a little bit of meat. Yeah, you should probably have some meat. A Tyranodon. And then, yeah, all shall be well. Oh, snappers. All right, we're slowly but surely getting there, my friends. Uh, enjoy the meatsy doodles. Let's put that on there like that. And my weight is kind of on the high side. Okay, maybe we do need to go ahead and level up this gal's weight just a little bit. Maybe just up to 250 or something like that. Just so we get maximized movement speed. You know, it's not reduced in any way because of the fact that she's slightly over encumbered. You know, there's an alpha down there, guys. And as nice as alphas are for getting XP on a dino, I'm not entirely sure that this gal is going to be capable of taking down many alphas. Maybe an alpha raptor at most but anything after that alpha carnos alpha rexes oh no 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 that's not gonna happen we're gonna be massively on the struggle bus with those guys <laughs> So, yeah. I mean, to be honest, like I say, it's exploring out time. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, snappers. Got to be quick about this one, my friends. There's a Carno chasing a Theomia. Uh, be quick about it. Oh, wow. Simple shotgun ammo blueprint. Worth it. <laughs> All right. Blue loot beam mod as well. It is here. So why not? You know what? Maybe I should just completely veto blue loot beams from hence here forth. Medium crop plot blueprints literally seems to be all I get from the man. Oh, hey, well, there's a silver lining, though. There is a little structure here with 
would you guess? An explorer note. So there we have it. Now that we have ourselves the increased XP yield buff from uh, taking the first explorer note, now we can get ourselves a ton of XP per explorer note, all right? So it's just a case of finding them and making sure we find them within that time limit down in the bottom right there. 560 seconds. What? Just over nine minutes. And let's not forget, of course, for whatever reason, one of the greatest ways of leveling up your dinos is to, for some reason, chop trees down. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna sort of do that in between finding explorer notes, I think. <laughs> Now, annoyingly, one of the better places to get explorer notes is actually the Redwood Forest. But um, I have had a very checkered past with the Redwood Forest on the back of a Tyranodon. Uh, in that the Chalicotheriums, the ones who attach themselves to the Redwood Trees, they wind up sort of doing a bit of a jump towards you, knocking you off your mount, and then you take a ton of fall damage. And then you almost certainly die. So, uh, yeah, I'm not so sure I want to go in there, if I'm honest with you. Oh, I might have to, but I don't want to. <laughs> All right, there we have it, my friends. Another explorer note in the form of an urn. All right. Hey, we ourselves have a level up. Cool. About bleeding time. Guys, check it out. 230 engram points, but more to the point, we are now the default max level of level 105. Now, of course, because we have a level 2 GB, that means we can actually go up to level 106. So, yeah. I mean, at this point, trying to gain levels up is going to be very, very difficult and a massive grind and pain in the butt. But uh, if and when we do get the levels up, it's going to be useful. Eventually, maybe we'll be able to unlock every single engram that's ever existed. Ah, yes. I remember this area with all the giant rocks. There's at least a couple of explorer notes around here, if my memory serves me correct. There is one right there there. Yeah, good -o. Uh, and there's also, I think, one around here. Just gotta try and avoid that Alpha Raptor, if at all possible. Uh, where is that other note? I know there's another one around here somewhere. Where is it? I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna reap the rewards. Hey, do we go for this beam or not? I know what I was saying about blue loot beams, but you never know, right? A refining forge and metal wall. I mean, it's not a medium crop plot blueprint at the very least. Hey, look at that. There's a Quetzal. Hello. What level is this guy? If it's low level, I'm considering going for it. Level 35. That's reasonably low level. I wouldn't mind one that's like really low level though. Like literally only level 5, 10, 15. Even those would do the job. Because yeah, you just need a basic low level one in order to use it to get a high level one, right? I mean, it should be pretty easy. Also, I've just found that other explorer that I was just on about. Yeah! Alright, how many levels up do we really have? <laughs> 20! Oh, snappers! Uh... 207% movement speed, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm speedy. I would most definitely get flashed if I went past a speed camera right now, guys. <laughs> I'm going to lose my Tyranodon driving license at this rate. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but this river seems like the kind of mystical, magical place where there might be an explorer note or two just dotted around the sides of it. Maybe there's a little abandoned sort of structure around here. No? Oh, it just opens up into a big old area. Huh. All right, I'm thinking maybe one, maybe two more explorer notes and we might just be all right to uh, start going for our Quetzal goal. What do you guys think, huh? Two more, one more, two more, either of those. Oh, here's one of them. Okay, if we manage to find a second one in good time, then we're gonna be goo, baby. How many levels up is that? Four? 218% movement speed. Hey, and there we have it. Another explorer note. Do you know what? I think we're good. We've got darn near 3,000 seconds of increased XP yield, guys. That's what, near 50 real life minutes? That's a little bit on the nuts side, if you ask me, guys. You know what else is pretty nuts? This gosh darn fog. I hate fog. I wish it would go away. Oh, man. Why am I supposed to see anything in this? These are rather treacherous flying conditions, aren't they? What the bleeding hell am I supposed to do here? How am I supposed to spot Quetzals in the sky? I keep saying it like almost every single episode, but I hate fog and art. I hate it. Oh, okay. There's a Quetzal right here. What level are you, buddy? 15! Hey! 
Hey, guys! I never thought I'd be so excited to see a low-level creature in Ark. But this guy right here could be the key to us being able to tame a high-level Quetzal. Now, if only this fog would bugger off! Please! <laughs> I want to be able to see where I'm shooting, man! All right, let's see if I can uh, get a shot on him. Oh, come on. I can see him, but I'm struggling to... Ah! How about that one? Yes! <laughs> right. As far as I know, it hopefully... Oh, goodness me. I've already lost it. Okay, right. As far as I know, it shouldn't take overly many shots for me to be able to take this guy down. It's just more so being able to shoot it, you know? Because my aim uh, needs to be on. Like, really on. I don't know how much of a curve the shocking tranquilizer darts have. So, therefore, I don't know how much of a lead I need to give my shots. You know? Ah, oh, this is going to be difficult. But anyways, there's one shot put into it. I don't actually know how many are required. The wiki seems to suggest anywhere between 5 and 10. So, this is going to be a game of patience, I think, my friend knows. A game of patience. Oh, yeah! Another shot put into it. That is number two. Now, if I could get this guy ideally to be, you know, hovering not over the forest, you know, then we might have a better time in terms of trying to defend it if and when it actually goes down. I do not want this guy to die. Because it has a lower level, it probably won't take much for it to die. So, yeah, that's kind of one of the downsides to this plan. Lower level Quetzals will have a lower amount of health, and therefore, they will be more susceptible to dying quite quickly. So, yeah. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, oh, good sweet lord. Okay, I forgot you were on follow there, buddy. I thought you were about to attack me. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Oh, uh, okay. I must admit, I'm feeling a little bit on edge, if I'm honest. Uh, if I was to, let's say, land here, make sure you're not on follow. Maybe we can get another shot in. Boom! How about that one? Yes! Haha! <laughs> All right, that's number three. Let's see about perching ourselves on here. Maybe we can get ourselves a super long range shot. Maybe that one. Oh. Oh. Wow. That actually hit. I'm going to go for a crack shot here. But boom, that one. That one's going to hit, yeah? N uh, no, it didn't. Ah, darn it. <laughs> See, if we sort of land ahead of it, it becomes slightly easier. Yeah. It becomes slightly easier to actually shoot it. All right, another crack shot. Boom. All right. If that gets him, I'm literally God. It did not. Ah, oh, darn it. All right, five done. How about this one? Yes, that's going to hit, yeah? Darn it. All right, uh, that one's going to hit. Yes? Please? Darn it. <laughs> Come on, Python. Get your long-range shot on, eh, bud? Ah, flying towards a mountain, eh? That's probably not the greatest idea if you're wanting to, uh, you know, survive here. All right, boom, that one's going to hit, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Alright, and that one's going to hit as well, yeah? Ah! Gosh darn it! I can't get successive shots in a row. That's so annoying, man. This one's going to do the job, yeah? Hoi! Oh! It's a dimorpha done. Alright, no, all is well. Alright, you see, if you're like directly underneath it, it becomes slightly easier. Darn it! It becomes slightly easier to be able to shoot it. That one's going to hit, yeah? Oh, it's like right above me. Come on, dude. That one's going to hit. Come on. Yes. It's down. It's down. I did it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did it. And it's like bullseye on the beach in a clearing. <laughs> Bruh. If that doesn't deserve a like, my friends. I don't know what does. Literally, I don't know what does. That was absolute perfection. Mwah. Mm. I'm saluting that one. That is just brilliant. All right. Prime me. We're going to get it from that stego over there, okay? And, well, to really give ourselves a bit more of a chance, we're going to uncryopod this guy, right? And then we're going to use him to go ahead. And uh, kill the stego, okay? So, let's uh, da -da do this thing. Give me, give me, give me all of your prime meaty doodles. Come on, fella. Come on, fella. There we are. There we are. There's the prime meat, ladies and gentlemen. All we got to do now 
is put the prime meat on our dude here, and that is it. There we are, just a few bits of prime meat. Make sure no one's following. Make sure everybody's on passive. Yes, all is well. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Ladies and gentlemen, now we play the waiting game. This guy right here, this low level Quetzal right here is going to be the key to being able to tame ourselves a high level Quetzal. And there we have it. There we have it. All right, uh, let's have you come over here so you can like, oh jeez. Okay, hang on, wait, 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 wait. All right, let's have you on follow as well. And my flying squad, we're now going to take out this Raptor over here, right? Yeah, hey buddy, how's it going? Go on, go on, everybody needs to get in on this. God. Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> My Quetzal got the kill. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant, dude. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm actually so happy. This is like our ultimate flying squad, guys. Our ultimate flying squad. All right. So we're going to cryopod Adam. We're also going to cryopod the, uh, Speedy. Speedy. V. Speedy. Land. Come on. Come on. Don't get too ahead of yourself, eh? All right. There we are. We'll cryopod you. And then we'll also cry upon Adam. And then that means we'll just be left with the beautiful dude. That is our new Quetzal. I mean, it's only level 22, so, you know, we can't... Oh! Didn't mean to do that. Darn it. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. We are now flying atop our brand new Quetzal, who already has a level up, by the way. Uh, I'm not actually overly interested in going ahead and uh, leveling this guy up. But if we are going to level up anything... It's going to be movement speed. Because, yeah, if we upgrade this guy's movement speed, we'll be able to keep up with the next higher level Quetzal. And we'll be able to continually pelt it with the shock and tranquilizer darts here. So, yeah, it all works very, very nicely, my friends. But uh, there we have it. We have our low level Quetzal. And checking out the stats real quick. 2,000 health, 840 stamina, which is decent. 816 weight and 180% or thereabouts melee damage. It's all right. It's a low level guy. I wasn't expecting overly massive stats. But like I say, this is going to be the key to being able to get ourselves a high level Quetzal. Being able to just sort of dismount onto its back. We'll be able to go ahead and take pot shots like that. And then we get back on our current Quetzal. And then we can keep up with it. And then keep on going, you know? It works out an absolute freaking treat. Honestly, having your initial Quetzal is going to make getting a high level Quetzal an absolute doddle, my friends. It really is. So, yeah. To be honest, I would be pretty happy in calling this episode in mission complete. Maybe in the next episode we can actually go for our high level Quetzal, okay? And upon getting a high level Quetzal, we're going to make ourselves a mobile Quetzal base, guys. A mobile flying base. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fantastic, isn't it, if we manage to do that? So, yeah. That'll do it, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode and the fact we finally got our very, very first Quetzal on the island, I would very much appreciate it if you guys would head down below the video if you haven't already and drop a like. It would mean the world to me if you did that. It means that you guys are excited for the series and want to continue seeing more. And it honestly supports me in more ways than you know, guys, truly. Of course, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.